Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Android email system. Now, some of you guys may be experiencing this problem like I did, and um, you know how I found out how to fix it is I looked on a few forums online and I found the answer. But uh, if you, you know, if this is the first place you're looking, obviously you're going to want to know how to fix this. Now, just to show you the problem which happens or explain it to you, um, in case because you know there could be multiple problems with the email. Um, what I mean is the Android push and pull email service isn't working, so basically, you know, before it may have done it so it checked every hour or so to your email account, see if you had a new email, and then when it does, it would notify you. But the problem is, what would happen is, well, that would not happen, and basically every time you want to see if you got an email, you'd have to go to email app and refresh it, it wouldn't tell you when you had a new one. So... You know, um, for this example, I'm going to be using a Galaxy S4 running Android 4.3, and um, you know, you may have got this problem from a multiple uh, or various amount of things, but I got mine from updating my um, S4 from 4.2.2 to 4.3, and that's how the problem happened. But uh, as I said, it can happen from a various amount of things, um, but this is a video on how to fix it. So, what we're first going to want to do is go into the email app itself and make sure sync emails on. So to do that we're gonna go on um, the email, click the menu button and go to settings. Then we're gonna go to account settings and you may have multiple accounts, you click on one of them and go to sync settings and make sure that sync email um, checkbox is checked because if it isn't then that's probably your um, culprit as a um, to what's stopping that from happening. But um, also what you can change in here is you know how often it syncs, mine's set to every 15 minutes, so every 15 minutes it will check for new emails. But if that's all like mine, you know, you've got it checked and everything, and it's still not working, this is how to fix that. So what you're going to want to do is go to your app drawer, um, just by clicking apps on the dock, and uh, go to settings. Then you want to go to connections at the top if you don't have that, um, or if you have that. If you don't, just try and find the data usage somewhere. Um, but just click data usage and as you can see if you didn't know already you can set you know a limit to your data so you know it warns you when you're at a certain amount of data used and um, you can set your limit um, but anyway what we're going to need to do on this screen is obviously you can see a load of stuff but what we're going to do is tap the menu button and it's going to bring up this here now what you're going to make sure is auto sync data is checked in your case it most likely is and that's most likely the problem um, right there, um, you can leave all these unticked, but uh, uh, yeah, leave all these unticked, but just make sure auto sync data is ticked and it should work. Now, you know, I've just disabled it there, but this is what you're going to do you're going to click that and it's going to ask if you want to enable it. You know, it just says stuff that it will make changes to your accounts and things, and just click OK, and that should fix the problem. Now, if the problem still persists, you may want to look online. Just Google it, and um, you should find some answers to your problem. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. If you found it helpful in any way, a like would be greatly appreciated. Also, um, please subscribe, and thank you for watching this video.